hello everyone welcome to my channel today we are going to talk about compression softwares file compression softwares now everyone is using some kind of compression softwares either they are using winrar or they are using inbuilt dot zip file explorer in microsoft windows now if you, you are using winrar you might have noticed the annoying uh, you know uh, get license by winrar page it will not stop any functionality of winrar but it is little annoying so you can use 7zip it's an open source software and it has ability to open uh, .rar files 7zip files .7zip files and many other different kind of file formats so this is 7zip file manager now if you open it now it looks very bland if you see if uh, I, I should put it into words it's open source so you know it's all about functionality but uh, if you want to improve the aesthetics you can do that by a simple tool called 7zip theme manager now the original author he has abandoned the project for some reason but it is still alive on github so i'm going to search specifically for the github version okay so this is the link of the github version i will put it in the description box so yeah so this is the github page it was made by huh, the original author had abandoned it so they have remade the version 2.1 so original author made till 2.1 now some great great folks at github are maintaining it so i'll download this file i'll download this one 7.3.5.2 so i've already downloaded and i'm not going to download it again so you download it you open it it is in 7z format so you need 7z installed in your system so i've decompressed it so you'll find these many folders and one executable for just for i'll run it as administrator you don't need to copy this folder into your 7zip install folder you just need to run you can just simply uh, unzip it and run it you just need to tell where the 7zip installation is you click it is that correct you click it yes or no i have installed it on c program file 7zip i will click yes if you have not if you are, if you have installed somewhere else you can click no and point it to that file directory so i will click, click yes so you can see it has it is running so there are three ways you can customize it one is toolbar file types and icon themes so one is toolbar themes these are the toolbar themes so it has a good you know variety i can select any of these so i'll select bureaucracy activate so it is telling me my 7zip is running yes it is running i'll close it i'll click on retry theme activation done so i have done only for the toolbar i can do the file uh, types also so click on file types and again select any kind of visual style you want so what i'll do i'll i think i like no this is the default original theme or how the files will look so this is 7zip file this is zip file this is rar file i want something different i like this one so i'll select here and click on activate themes activation is done i'll show you how it looks these are the um so these are the logos icon themes 7zip icon so what i'll do activate theme i'll activate this also 
so I'll show you where it, everything is changed so if you see here nothing is changed nothing is changed start menu might have been changed so there are some few compressed file in my downloads folder so these are the icons okay I'll see if everything anything's changed in 7 zip file manager yeah you can see the icons are updated now you will find so many themes on DeviantArt also so if I click on 7-zip themes DeviantArt so there are many talented artists who have prepared themes for 7-zip you can download from this website and use it through the theme manager thank you